All right, it's Wednesday, and we are going to play our long tones and half notes today, and we're just going to do concert F descending, and we're going to do F descending A, 1A, and 1C. We're not going to do 1B or 1D, uh, so we're going to do 1A and 1, 1C. Brass on mouthpieces, please. Here we go. F descending, 1A, 1C. back in, go back to the beginning of this video and um, do those three again now on your instrument, woodwinds you're going to move forward. Okay, so brass you go back and you spend another two minutes uh, doing that on your instrument right now. Woodwind you don't need to do it again. And now we're uh, from here, so now from here we go on to our warm-up sets on um, the pages after the long tones and we're going to do the same sets we've always been doing, no different from the rest of the week. Woodwinds. Uh, on Monday, all slur. Tuesday, all uh, slur two, tongue two. Today, we're going to flip that. We're going to tongue two, then slur two. So it's going to be da 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 like that. Okay? Here we go. Set one, option four. One, two, ready. <laughs> Thank you. 
Scales for Wednesday, because we did a shorter warm-up sequence, we're going to use the scales to kind of build our upper register uh, just and our lower register just a little bit. So we are going to play our scales a little bit longer than we normally do. Concert B-flat, we're going to play it in whole notes, and then we're going to play it in half notes. So we're going to play the concert B-flat scale in whole notes, and then we're going to play it normal after that. Concert B-flat, here we go, and one two whole notes. As usual, if you want to just review like clarinets and uh, saxes, no, just pretty much clarinets actually. Clarinets, if you want to review the double octave. And then just do that. Go on to uh, concert E flat, and we'll do the same thing to build our high range in the brass since we didn't do all of our long tones today. Whole notes on the concert E flat scale, page 28. One, two, Hold it and ready. idea woodwinds are actually um, yeah woodwinds primarily if you want to work on the double scale you can <laughs> clarinets and saxes you would start lower than that um, so yeah saxes saxes and, and, and clarinets for sure woodwinds uh, yeah flutes have a little bit okay and then concert F we're gonna do the whole notes on this one differently because we didn't do long tone one B and we're gonna play this one descending first 
So we're going to go start high and go low and hold notes, then come back up and then play the scale normally. Concert F scale, one, two, ready. Now start on the first note. So we'll play it the way it's written, um, starting low. Now, Brass, you've had a chance to get your lips down there, right? One, two, ready. And as always, you can pause and... Obviously at a speed that you're comfortable with. That's your scale sequence for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This one has two systems, because it's two lines long, right? So remember that as you get to the end of the line, you don't just go to the next line, because that's the second part. You have to go to the a third line, right? You have to go to the top line of the next system. So you have to look at your music two lines at a time. You read the top line, ignore the second line, ignore the bottom line. But then when you, when you get to the end of the line, then you skip to what looks kind of like the third line. It's not. It's the top line of the system. You'll get used to it, but it just takes some work. Okay? Orally uh, can be played very slow. can also be played very, very fast. But it shouldn't be crazy fast, right? It should, no matter what you do with it, it should be flowing and very rhythmically accurate. You have some dotted quarter notes there at the beginning of the second system, right? One, two, three. Very common dotted quarter note. Uh, pattern that we're used to seeing, and then at the end as well. All right, so this is the top line, or the first part of orally. One, two, ready. <laughs> As is always the case, just playing something correctly one time does not mean you know it. So I'm going to insist that you at least play through that line two to three times, maybe as many as five or six. So let's do that again at least two more times. One, two, ready. <laughs>
And the third time. One, two, ready. <laughs> If you feel like you need to go back and do that a couple more times, you can pause the video, do that, or rewind the video up to you. All right, here's the bottom line. And just like the top line, we are going to do this three times in the video. And if you need to do it more, you can pause the video or rewind it and do it more. For today's practice session, at least three times. One, two, bottom line, and... <laughs> Now that's all you need to do today. Um, if you want to practice it more, you can. Tomorrow we'll focus on the recording side of it. So for today, you're cool. Um, if you want to jump ahead and go ahead and record it, and that way tomorrow you can uh, you know, mess around with it, that's up to you as well. Don't forget, uh, tomorrow you'll record and then submit to Seesaw. <laughs>